Welcome to our hub identification class. And uh, I want to tell us that uh, in this class, classes, we have been learning a lot of things that God is trying to teach us. Uh, I am trying to give you what God deems best, not what the world deems best. There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end therefore is death. But the way of the life is joy and pleasure forevermore. That is the way that we want to, to give. Christ says that I am the way, the life, and the truth. No man comes unto the Father but through me. We have to identify Christ as the Son of the living God, the true Son, uh, that is from his bosom. And, uh, and by understanding that when we are sick, the Bible says that he took all our sicknesses and all our ailments. And that is the proclamation that the whole world needs to know, that having the true character of his dear true son is able to restore our system. Now today, we are uh, trying to understand deeply in nature what is there for us. And I have for us here the ficus carica, and that is normally called figs, the fig tree. It is known majorly for the shrinking of the tumor. You remember in Isaiah chapter 38 about Ezekiah? King Ezekiah was sick. He was, he was having a sore botch on his, on his system, and that is a, tumor, uh, a cancerous tumor in his system. And God directed, if you go read that 38, God directed um, uh, the prophet Isaiah to go and pick figs. And he went and picked the fig fruit that was rip, ripe and applied it as a poultice. And then the tumor was able to be removed. Now, what the figs did was that because it is high in sugar, and uh, you know that the cancer cells love the sugar, and the figs was supplying that sugar, but tricking the cancer cell because at is, uh, as it comes, it, it, it meets the phytochemicals that actually block the supply of that sugar into the tumor. And then uh, the phytochemical within the, uh, within the uh, the figs will be able to kill the, the, the blood vessels of the cancer. It also boosts the circulation to the area that it is applied. And that, uh, wherever there is circulation of the cells, uh, or the circulation of blood to these cells, if it is tumor cells, they will be able to, to die because cancer do not thrive in an oxygenated region. It carries with it also the fig, that is the fig fruit, that is ripe. It carries with it a lot of uh, oxygen, and uh, that oxygen kills the cells. How? Why do I say it carries a lot of oxygen? Because it oxidizes very fast, and oxidation is a process where oxygen interacts with the medium that uh, uh, a, a dying tissue, and then it is able to uh, to. Uh, try either supply a lot of oxygen in it to to survive, and so a fix is one of this elm, uh, of this remedy that help in fighting cancer. The leaves and the bugs are also useful, and let's see, its fruit, uh, root, and leaves are used in traditional medicine to treat various ailments such as gastrointestinal or colic, uh, or what is known as colic. Uh, uh, gastrointestinal problems like colic, sorry, in indigestion, loss of appetite, and diarrhea, and respiratory diseases like sore throat, coughs, and bronchial problems, and uh, cardiovascular disorders, and as anti-inflammatory and antispasmodic remedies. It improves digestion issues. Uh, the digestive issues range from constipation to diarrhea at both ends of the spectrum, Increasing fiber intake can help, in addition to their high fiber content. content however, figs a digestion in another way. They are an excellent source of prebiotics, which improve overall gut, gut, gut health. It increases bone density. Figs are a good source of both calcium and potassium. 
Uh, these minerals can work together to improve bone density, which can in turn prevent conditions like osteoporosis. Studies suggest that a potassium-rich diet in particular can improve bone health and reduce bone turnover. Meanwhile, calcium is a key structural component of bones, and increasing calcium intake has been shown to improve bone mineral structure in children and adolescents. Your body, you, your bones need a lot of silica, a lot of phosphorus, and a lot of calcium. And uh, potassium and sodium help in the balance uh, of uh, the pressure, as well as some of the interlocking uh, factors for the bones to be strengthened. And uh, you need to, for your bones to be in a good health, you need a lot of calcium, which we can get from the green leafy vegetables in Sim Sim and in the nuts and grains, more so the millet and the sorghum. Um, another thing that is good in calcium is amaranth. And amaranth is, is, is a, a, a storehouse of a lot of calcium in trace minerals like boron and, uh, and uh, selenium and uh, silica that will strengthen your system, more so your uh, skeletal muscular system. Let's look about its nutrition. One major benefit of fig is that they are a natural, naturally fat-free, cholesterol-free food. They are also an excellent source of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, potassium, and magnesium. Its leaves is used for diabetes and high cholesterol and skin conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, and vitiligo. Some people apply the milky sap or the latex from the tree directly to the skin to treat skin tumors and warts, just as we said uh, about uh, King Ezekiah. But this sap has a, lot, has a strong drawing power. You know the sap from the pine, the sap from the, from the popo, the sap from the cedar trees, uh, the sap from... Uh, from uh, from this fig is helpful in drawing out the tumors. And uh, let's go back to diabetes. How is the youth the, the leaves used for diabetes? You can use a two tablespoon of the powder in a glass of warm water or of hot water and let it steep for some time and then drink it when cool. Just drink everything, don't sieve. And then if you're using the, the leaves, the fresh leaves, you have to crush them and uh, uh, for example, about 30 leaves, fresh leaves, crush them and put in a glass of warm water and drink. For, 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 for the fresh leaves, you don't need to put in hot water, put in warm water. It it's provides the fiber that helps in uh, absorbing or uh, uh, collecting the high cholesterol within your gut system. And then when you go for a long call, it is able to be eliminated. Early research suggests that a tea made from fig leaves may reduce insulin requirements in people with type 1 diabetes. It also seems to lower blood sugar levels after eating. It relieves inflammation, is a laxative, purifies the blood, is a throat, help with throat infection, clears bronchi of, or bronchi of mucus. It, uh, when it helps in boils, gum boils, ulcers of the mouth, and it's also used to apply to, to supply oxygen and blood flow to the respiratory system. The blood and kidney stones are also removed when you use the leaf tea of figs. Uh, diabetes, it helps in restoring diabetes. We've talked about that, helping to uh, to clean and strengthen your spleen and in liver problems. It removes spots on the face if you use the what? Uh, the sap, the whitish sap oozing from uh, the bricked uh, bark of the leaves. And you apply that to your what and it's able to break it down. In sauce and boils, apply the sap and the ripe fruit that has been cooked or baked. And then when it is soft, you smash it and put it on the boys on the sauce. On the toothache, you use the, the juice from the leaves and apply it or pack it in your mouth. It's able to tighten your teeth. If you have sensitive teeth or periodon periodontitis, 
uh, or prior oil, it is able to help in eliminating the bacteria because of the sugar supply and when the bacteria comes in they are trapped into that powerful antioxidant and then it is eliminated for arthritic swellings you can use the fresh leaves or also uh, the fruit uh, as a poultice and it's able to help you Ru uterine hemorrhage diarrhea and dysentery use the back decoction or the leaf decoction the methods of use the consumption of rye figs relief inflammation acts as a laxative and purifies the blood the decoction of the rye fig is a good gargle for irritation of the throat for colds the same decoction is used to clear and soothe the bronchi of the mucus the roasted figs have been used over boils, gum boils, and ulcers of the mouth. The dried figs are expectorant, chew one or two tender leaves, and leaf buds frequently and wash the mouth with warm water. Fresh figs are recommended for those who suffer from bladder or kidney stones. Boil six figs leaves in one teacup of water. Drink daily for a month. And... Uh, that is fresh figs, sorry, not the, the, the leaves, the fresh figs. You can juice it up and also add some peppermint in it and then take it in for such a problem. The above is not recommended for diabetics and for those who have spleen and liver problems because of high, uh, high sugar levels that may be uh, manifested. Soak dry figs overnight and use the water as a wash for spots on their face. The above mentioned water mixed with a little vinegar and salt is recommended for dandruff and as a cure for warts. The application of fresh latex is also a good remedy for warts. The juice of the leaves and stem is applied locally over boils and sores. The latex of the tree is efficiently used for toothache. It is introduced into the cavity by drop. That is the white dropping matter in your uh, in your gums, uh, packed in your gums or just as a drops. For arthritic swellings, apply the fresh latex uh, from the tree or the affected area. The infusion of the leaves together with plantain leaves is given for uterine hemorrhage and diarrhea and dysentery. And so brothers and sisters, that is what God has given us in nature. In the land of Canaan, there were a lot of pomegranates, a lot of figs. And this was for the healing of the nation. This is what God has given us see, as in nature. And when we are going back to the restorative gardening principles, we needed to come back to the growing of indigenous trees. We are advised to grow the needle-like leaves, the pine, the cypress, the cedar, the fir, because they are very good for, uh, for, for trapping any free radical ions within the, uh, with the, uh, within the atmosphere and also able to trap a lot of the electromagnetic effects in the, in the atmosphere and also help with the freshening of the air in your compound. Another thing you need to understand is plant a lot of these indigenous plants like acacia, like albizia or pas passion silk tree, uh, of uh, say uh, plants like uh, the pagium tree, uh, the bill tree, the olive tree, and uh, also the figs. They are, they, this will help you to make sure that the, the environment, even your gardening, will be very easy because they help to restore the uh, this the, the environment where they are planted. So God bless you till our next class.